Ladies and gentlemen, now making his way to the NFA cage, Javier Tomas. So this is this is something dif different. So uh, Javier decided to have no entrance music. You know what? This the silence sets a tone yeah. that no music can. So there it is. Well, Javier it, it's, knows. It's killing me. Let's <laughs> say that right now. All you gotta do, all you gotta do is just let let the atmosphere take you in. Okay. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's take yeah. us back to like. Yeah, the atmosphere. Yeah, Adam, the we'll gladiator <laughs> days. They didn't have music in the gladiator days. Nothing had drums or something. I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> Not that old? <laughs> no, I was not that old. <laughs> but again, Xavier Thomas, 0-0, oh no, 135 pounds. The kid is ready to fight. He may not have been ready with the music, but he's ready to rock and roll tonight. Yeah, he's coming out of Mexico. Obviously, the, the, the city's name's so long, we couldn't fit it on there. So. Hey, that'll happen. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Javier for coming out. For sure. Mike, back in the cage. And now, his opponent making his way to the NFA cage, Caden Olsak. Here comes Caden making the walk. He had an excellent debut, as Lance was telling us about before. He does choose music as uh, for his walkout. He didn't just walk out to the sounds of St. Louis City. Uh, it's going to be a good one. I feel like this might we might see another finish to yeah. go 4-4 four four to start the night. Well, Caden trains out of the Wolves Den, and those guys are all. That's a tough room. You got Sean Woodson, Jordan Dowdy's up there. Uh, Mop is up there as the coach. Danny Moriarty. Uh, you know, the list goes on and on of the who's who of the regional scene. But what I'm, what I'm excited to hear is that as Caden is ready for this fight. He's getting greased up, and he's kind of he's got a grinning, kind of smiling. So that tells me that he is pumped. Yeah, and to go back to Javier, he's actually, so he switched to uh, St. Charles MMA, which we know has a great lineage. Um, them and Both them and Wolvesdens had plenty of battles between each other, so oh, they yeah. know each other's coaching styles for sure. We went from no music to some heavy music. Yeah, no, I'm rocking and rolling. Yeah. We'll throw the mic in the cage. Fight fans, this contest is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the NFA Amateur Bantamweight Division, brought to you tonight by Unrivaled Realty. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands five foot five, weighed in 134.8 pounds. Tonight, he's making his amateur debut, representing St. Charles MMA, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Javier Thomas. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, is a mop jitsu style fighter, standing five foot 10, weighed in 136 pounds. Yields an amateur record, one win, zero defeats. Representing Wolves Den Training Center, fighting out of Lake St. Louis, Missouri, Caden Olsen. Your referee, Josh Stewart. Another hometown crowd, Caden Osak bringing the people out tonight. I just want to point out that we're spoiled tonight with Josh Stewart and uh, Francis, Tim Francis. Those are two of the best refs in the world. Oh, oh, no! Nice combo. There, oh, oh, big left hook out of Xavier. Caden's, he's eating them, but he's blinking. You can tell he's trying to shake it off. I really like, I like uh, Tomas's, his defense is, oh, right on oh, the chin again. Rocked. Oh, man. Whoa. Tomas is showing some good defense and then just firing away. What Great I, combos. What I like with Javier, he's very calm. Right? Yes. And the low high. Low high is good because then you can't, you know, you don't know which way to put your arm to block. Yeah, Javier, Javier's got some good, uh, I say good footwork. He's just not going straight Ooh. back. Yeah. He's getting in despite having a reach disadvantage for, for sure. He's doing that fall away, uh, that fall away hook as well. So he's getting in really close and then he's doing a fall away hook, which opens up the space. And I'm not sure if Caden's seeing it come. Looks like a nice bounce back there. Good keep. Oh, 
Javier, I think Javier looks like he got a little boxing in him. Starting to slow it down now. Yeah, the pace is slowing. Javi's face is wearing a little bit of damage now. Yeah, right under that left eye is starting to swell up a bit. Looks like left eye, right eye on the nose. He's eating a few straight jabs. Yep, you're right. <laughs> There's the right eye now. <laughs> Ooh. Hayden's keeping that hand up now to block that chin. Less, See, lesson learned. Yeah, I'm surprised it took Hayden this long to really try to initiate some sort of grappling. You know, coming out of a mop jitsu camp, I would have assumed their jujitsu is top level. Yeah, it's, there might be some pride there. You know how you know how we get when we're young. We want to show we can not get that big knockout. There's that easy oh, takedown take right down. there. Now we'll see what Tomas has from the bottom. Caden's in the half guard right here, looking to looking to pass. Good with the weight control. Good pressure on the chest. Trying to push that leg down so he can get his leg out. To me, the best way to pass a guard is to punch. <laughs> They're telling him to put pressure on the left so he can slide out the right. There you go. Big knee out of Caden, big, big right out of Javier. Hey, gentlemen, we're going to the second round. What a NFA great 16. <laughs> what a great first round right there, guys. That was a good round, yeah, evenly, for both guys. Evenly matched. I don't know who we give it to because you think about Javier had some good Javier shots. Had, I think beginning. Javier had the striking. Well, um, but, but it's the control. I, th I think right. Caden walked away with that, that round I at the agree. end there with the takedown, the ground control, and the damage he... he yeah, he did put damage, even though, even though, even uh, to your, you know, your point, Tomas, even though his striking looked better, he ate some too. He definitely ate some oh, as yeah. well. Oh yeah, And then he got sure. taken down. Unofficial scorecard that nobody asked for from Chris Denman. 10-9, Caden, after one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think, I think I'm with you and Adam on this one. I wouldn't be mad though if it goes the other way either. It's pretty. I think it's a close round. Corners are hyped. Young fighters getting ready to pop back up for the second round. Again, the crowd doesn't know how to react to the second round tonight. So we'll see how they treat this fight. Javier is not breathing heavy at all. He got a nice cut on his nose, like to what you said earlier. Yeah, he's nice and calm. You're right. Both of them are. Oh, oh nice. It's that same combo that... He goes low and then comes up high. Javi came out trying to finish uh -oh. this. Oh, nice bounce up. <laughs> what? He said trampoline, man. <laughs> oh, that right hand yeah. is fighting a home right here in the second round. Yeah. <laughs> Tomas is like, I don't care if you're taller. I'm getting inside one way or the other. Well, he's probably always sparred taller guys and had to work his way in. Yeah, he's got that blitz down. Well, he clearly has a chin, so he just doesn't care. Oh, that calf kick. That got him. Look at the back of his thigh right there. You can see the purple. Got those hands locked with that S grip. Drag him down. Oh, uh, Tomas has some blood running in his eye from his nose as well. That's going to probably hinder him. Caden trying to get that position. What I like to see here is Caden is actually taking his time. He knows he has a lot of time. It's early in the round. Absolutely, yeah. We see plenty of times where somebody rushes and gives up a good position. Yeah. It looks like he's working for an arm of some sorts, but it's kind of a bad idea because he turns around, his back's on that cage, he can't extend. Right. Now he's going the other side, trying to take that oh, back. that back. But he's got that body triangle, that left leg over. You know, it's funny, his corner was saying earlier, look for the back when he was basically in mount, so they must have seen something. So right here, oh, the choke is yeah. in. Wow. He's got his chin down, but still. Yeah, his chin's down, but that's tight. He's fighting it. Yeah, he's trying to push that elbow up. Oh, good, he's good defense. Good defense. Now the crowd's awake. <laughs> Javier's as tough as they get. You got to be careful, though. He's, but Caden's yeah. not going to give up on that. No. He's got that body triangle. Now we're going to be here for the, for the last minute of the round. Yep. Yeah, Tomas is going to have to try to roll. There he goes. He's doing it. He's trying to roll that side, make that leg uncomfortable. 
Trying to make him switch up and get his way out. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, hey, oh. Well, I said there the we go. <laughs> this is a fight, boys. That's a very acute observation, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> that was Lance. Lance, I'm whatever. not sitting on that one. What are you talking about? That was me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> We're that's back my at the fight. That's my expert opinion on this. <laughs> <laughs> you see how quickly I turn over. Excellent fight so far. Oh, head, excellent headbutt there. But that's going to happen with these two Bulldogs. Hey, you know. It, <laughs> if if Solo doesn't correct me at least once a night, it's not a fight night. Down to the final <laughs> ten. <laughs> and remind everybody, Unrivaled Realty making this fight possible tonight. Here nice in hammer for He's looking for a Kimura and finishing, trying to loosen him up with a hammer fist. We're at the end. Good, good show of sportsmanship from both. They know they're in a fight. That yes, and uh, so does everybody else. Thanks to your That's what wonderful I'm here for. commentary. <laughs> here for my expert advice. I want, I want this crowd at the armory to know they're here and there is a fight. There is a fight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> everybody at home, we are we are watching a fight right now. So guys, I think Caden walked away with that round pretty easily, and I would assume that he's going into this third round. He's going to. Uh, I think he's going to look for a takedown right away. Yeah, I agree. That's where he's. That's where his bread and butter's been. Uh, standing up, I, I still give. I give Tomas the edge. Not, you know, it, it's competitive, but Tomas definitely has the edge. But on the ground, it's been all Caden. Red corner at this moment, discussing how to enter more effectively. So Adam Sella's uh, prediction might come true immediately. We'll, well see what honestly, happens. if I'm in the corner with him too, I'm gonna be like, quit standing with the kid, take him down. Well, that's the problem. Is, is Javier's got a good a good uh, entrance to get get that overhand right coming at you, and when that overhand right comes, that overhand left comes. So I think you avoid that. You just shoot in, take it down, and try to steal this, you know, steal this fight because it's going to be hard to finish. Javier is obviously super yeah, tough. He's tough. Yeah, he kind of comes in like a windmill. And you just <laughs> you don't know how to stop it. Very effective windmill. Here we go. Final round. <laughs> Double jab. Let's go. Put it on it. Yeah, one thing about Tomas being kind of a counter striker is he's backing up, which makes it easier for us. Oh, oh, nice left. If that didn't tell you right away, like, let's, let's just shut the door on that if you're the red corner. Well, that's kind of it, too. You know, saying Tomas looks like he's countering. He's going backwards, but when he decides to go forward, he comes in. He comes in very hard, and it's, it's almost hard to stop. He, catches, he almost catches Caden off guard. So Caden looks like he's eyeballing that leg, knowing that it it kind of hurt him already once. If there is a weakness, you're right, that he's showing the leg. But he's throwing that kick awfully slow. This is not where Caden wants oh, to be. Oh. Head popping up there. Rock him, sock him. You hear, you hear yeah. Caden's corner the whole time yelling, shoot, shoot. Javier says, not today. <laughs> he said no. Which is also his Spanish for no. <laughs> <laughs> he had a, he had a nice flush knee there though in the I think the sternum area, solar plexus. We're here so, to educate first. So right here, right here, Caden needs to get the head, head, the forehead under the chin. Oh no! Yeah. Javier gets on top. I yeah. wonder if Caden's exhausted at this point. He's looking at. I mean, this has been a pretty good war for three rounds. I know that the smaller guys usually has cardio, but, but a war is a war. If you're the judges, and you went Tomas' way that first round. This the could, way this is started, this, this could, could completely yes. go his way. Yep. Yeah, and we've seen we've seen judges do some crazy things. Yeah, I mean, it, it comes down to that first round at this point. Or, or, Javier, he's got, a minute, he's got about a minute and ten left. If he postures up and starts putting on a bit of a beating, it could be a 10-8 round. Yeah. Well, we also have those two that the judges confuse. There's some judges that that's how you finish. I don't agree with that. It should be the whole fight, but there are there are a lot of judges that some if you can finish strong, it can sway them. What? Josh Stewart standing him up, no action. You agree with that? So. I do not. I don't either. Same here. I felt like he was doing enough. I just don't think enough time had passed to really. Oh. I'll be honest. I was excited Ooh. to see if we were going to see a sweep or if he was going to finish strong. Back to their feet, though. Yeah, we're not paid to make those decisions. <laughs> those leg kicks suck. Yeah. Tomas just ate a flush one. I mean, they're good from Kata, but his suck to take. Oh! 
<laughs> he, he went up that elevator quick. What were the odds that he was going to land that kick tonight? What a kick. There we go. That's it. Hey, they're saying, let's go. He said, let's go. Tomas said, let's go. Wow. 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 What a finish. Incredible. That very well that may be. Great. That could be a 10 8 round. That could they be, absolutely. Finished. Especially at the end, I mean. Cade was running. I would not give it a 10 8, but. You never total know, though. Yeah. There just really wasn't a close finish. I agree, no. But you never know. But you never know. I like you put it out there, though. He said, I wouldn't agree with this, but there's a chance. So. It's NFA 16, and if there's going to be a decision, it has to be like this. Razor thin, could go either way. Wildly entertaining. So I said earlier, when will we get our first decision? Well, here it is. <laughs> I'm a prophet in multiple ways. Multiple ways. Well, we'll have the official decision here in just a moment. Real quick, I want to thank Kind Goods for being the presenting sponsor tonight. They're here on site. At the Armory, you can say hi to them, all the other great sponsors here tonight. Oh, and Javi, you know what? Javi got some fans we've out of this. Got, we've got maybe, if they weren't fans in the beginning, <laughs> maybe he converted a few maybe. too. I love it. I mean, he definitely, he definitely showed he's got skill. <coughs> I'd like to know how long he's been training. He didn't look like an 0 0 fighter. No. There we go, boys. Moment of truth. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. One judge scores this bout 29 28, Osak. One judge scores this bout 29 28, Tomas. And our third judge scores this bout 29 28. For your winner, by split decision, Kaden!